Hello, and welcome to the third episode of LGBTQIA Plus Heroes, Icons, Legends, and Events. This series of programs will cover a wide variety of topics such as astronaut Sally Ride and Marsha P. Johnson. Today we'll talk about entertainers Freddie Mercury, RuPaul, and Laverne Cox. Here are some interesting facts that you may not know about. After the gay liberation movement began in the late 1960s, society's views slowly began to change to accept LGBTQIA people. The entertainment industry slowly changed as well. From Freddie Mercury, the flamboyant lead singer for the band Queen, to RuPaul, the first internationally famous drag queen, to Laverne Cox, the first transgender actress to gain fame, the entertainment world would never be the same. So let's talk about Freddie Mercury. Freddie was born Farouk Bulsara in 1946 on the East African island of Zanzibar. He was born a British subject since Zanzibar was part of the British Commonwealth at the time. His family fled Zanzibar for Great Britain in 1964 to escape the violence of the Zanzibar Revolution. Freddie was born with four additional back teeth, which pushed his other teeth forward and gave him a distinctive smile and which he credited for his phenomenal four-octave vocal range. Before joining the band that would become Queen, Freddie worked two jobs, one as a seller of second-hand clothing at the Kensington Market in London, and the other as a baggage handler at Heathrow Airport. He officially changed his name to Freddie Mercury in 1971. The band Queen was originally called Smile until Freddie changed the name, saying, It's very regal, obviously, and it sounds splendid. I was certainly aware of the gay connotations, but that was just one facet of it. Queen's logo, designed by Freddie, combines the zodiac signs of the four band members. Two lions for John Deacon and Roger Taylor, both Leos, a crab for Brian May, a Cancer, and two fairies for Freddie, a Virgo. Freddie was a talented songwriter and wrote 10 of Queen's 17 top hits, including Bohemian Rhapsody, which was Queen's first number one hit. He was noted for his live performances, which showcased his highly theatrical style and which often evoked participation from the large audiences. Queen's performance at Live Aid in 1985 has been cited as possibly the greatest live performance in rock music history, in large part due to Freddie's ability to interact with his audience. His main prop on stage was a broken microphone stand. After accidentally snapping it off of the heavy bass during an early performance, Freddie realized it could be used in infinite ways during a show. Freddie loved cats and cared for at least 10 cats during his lifetime, most of which were rescued or adopted. In the 1970s, Freddie was in a long-term relationship with Mary Austin, who he's quoted as saying was the love of his life. Later in their relationship, he came out as bisexual and had relationships with other men, including Jim Hutton, who he was with up until his death. The song, Love of My Life, is said to be inspired by Mary Austin. Freddie never came out publicly until days before his death from AIDS in 1991. After his death, the surviving members of Queen established the Mercury Phoenix Trust to raise money for AIDS research and AIDS charities. So let's talk about RuPaul. RuPaul Charles was born and raised in San Diego, California, and moved with his sister to Atlanta, Georgia at the age of 15 to study the performing arts. He moved to New York City in the mid-80s, where he became popular in the nightclub scene. RuPaul achieved international fame as a drag queen when he released his first music single, Supermodel, You Better Work, in 1993. His rising popularity in the 90s landed him several roles in films such as Tu Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar, and the Brady Bunch movie. Later, he landed a talk show of his own on VH1 called The RuPaul Show, interviewing celebrity guests and musical acts. In 2009, RuPaul co-produced RuPaul's Drag Race, a reality TV series to crown America's next drag superstar. The series would become internationally recognized, spawning numerous franchises across the country such as Drag Race All-Stars, UK, Holland, Canada, Thailand, and many more. RuPaul's Drag Race would win several Primetime Emmy Awards and GLAAD Awards. RuPaul is famous for saying, You're born naked and the rest is drag. According to Ru, gender is a social construct and that the outfit we put on day-to-day is a form of drag. 
RuPaul is the first drag queen to have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And now for Laverne Cox. Laverne was born in Mobile, Alabama in 1972 and was raised by her single mother and grandmother. Laverne writes, I have been a performer my whole life. I started studying dance when I was eight years old in Mobile, Alabama and was performing in dance recitals and talent shows by the time I was in third grade. My childhood was filled with dreams of fame and performing in television and movies and on Broadway and the great stages of the world. She started her career as an actress on Law and & Order and Reality TV on HBO. She's best known for playing the role of Sophia Bursette on the Netflix series Orange is the New Black. She has a twin brother who portrayed her character prior to transitioning in the TV series. Laverne was the first open transgender woman to receive a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for the Netflix series. She draws her inspiration from Candace Kane, another trans actress before Laverne started her career. Laverne was on the cover of the June 9, 2014 issue of Time Magazine, the first out transgender person ever featured. She's also the first openly transgender person to have a wax figure of herself at Madame Tussaud. She loves karaoke in her spare time and has taken up singing opera as a hobby. Laverne writes that she is an advocate with an empowering message of moving beyond gender expectations to live more authentically. To know more about the people and topics discussed in this presentation, go to our website at GwinnettePL.org and check out the following books. Guru by RuPaul. Mercury, an intimate biography of Freddie Mercury by Leslie Ann Jones. Transgender History, The Roots of Today's Revolution by Suzanne Stryker.